So I'm going to be looking at the Corsair Vengeance LP, that stands for Low Profile, which is of course referring to the heatsink on the unit itself. We'll look at that a bit later. So this is an 8GB dual channel kit and I'll just show you the specification here. So I'm going to be comparing these modules to Corsair's Dominator modules, which are their premium series. So I'm going to be looking at a few things, performance, price and value. So I'm going to look at the modules in a little bit more detail up close. So here we can see I have the Vengeance and the Dominator modules put together and you can see the low profile heatsink on the Vengeance. It only sticks out by about one millimeter so it will be perfect if you've got a large CPU cooler where the Dominator modules will not fit. However the Dominator does have a much larger heatsink so it's going to be cooled a lot better especially if you're overclocking. So the Dominator modules come in at around £70 for the 8GB kit. This is the 600 MHz Cas9 running at 1.65 volts. So the Vengeance comes in at around half the price of the Dominator, around £35. Again, it's very similar specification, 1600 MHz Cas9, but this time they run at 1.5 volts as opposed to 1.65 volts. So that means you've got less headroom for overclocking, you won't be able to push these modules as far as the Dominators. So if you've never installed RAM before, I'm just going to do a quick video to show you how to do it. All you have to do is pop the clip open at the top. You may have to do it at the bottom as well, depending on the motherboard you're using. You simply then just pop the module in and click it in place. All you have to make sure is that you've got it the right way around, because the RAM module will only go in one way. So once you have the modules installed, it does give you about a centimetre of clearance between the module and the CPU cooler, depending on the cooler you're using, obviously. I have an, a, a Casa Venom here which is quite a large cooler so it does show that this RAM will fit with pretty much any cooler. So to wrap up the Vengeance LP modules are very good value for money they score 7.8 out of 7.9 in the Windows Experience Index so they offer very solid performance however if you want to do any overclocking I would recommend getting the Dominator modules as they are suited much more for that you're going to be able to push them a bit further because they have the extra voltage and the cooler is going to be a lot more efficient at keeping the modules cool. You can also get the Vengeance memory with a full size heatsink on which will offer better cooling still but obviously you sacrifice the ability to fit a large CPU cooler in your system. So I highly recommend this product, don't forget to hit the like button and please subscribe for more.